FTM crypto, where is it? Is it a dollar sixteen? And it's down, down, baby, without the Nelly, nineteen point thirty three percent. But why? Why? Tell us why. We're gonna look down here, and as you can see, man, it ain't looking too good. It said a Wowzers inspect the gadget style and came back up, not all the way up, Remy, my Joe style. But what is it? Is it a good investment? Should you still get in it? Before the end of this video, you will know the answer to all of those, okay? So, but the only way to know that is to come over to the homepage. Speaking of this, if you're looking to purchase a cryptocurrency to keep yourself safe, always be on a reputable exchange, get the instructions from that or the homepage of the site. The homepage of FTM Crypto is phantom.foundation. It is not .org or anything else other than that will be uncivilized and probably a scam. Okay, so check this out. Look, you can stake Phantom and everything. So you can come over and read all this stuff, but I'm going to tell you if you should trash or if you should hold. If you're buying into this, should this just a quick money flip or should you hold for the long term? And I'm gonna tell you just by my first once over is this really isn't one for me. As you guys know, I like usage cases. I'm heavy on the usage cases, cases, partnerships, but definitely implementation, okay? So we're gonna look at that and see what I'm talking about. And maybe you guys can decide whether or not you want FTM crypto to be added to your portfolio, yo, yo. All right, so this is the page called Partners and we're gonna look at some partners, okay? And as you guys know, I've been playing around with ACH, uh, Flex, and Amp. And I know you're like, man, David, those are lame. No, they're not. We don't pay attention to this daily chart every day. We pay attention to usage cases because that's when it will translate over there for utility tokens. Okay. But anyway, we come back over here. Look, their partners are Chainlink. All right. Next one is Band Protocol. All right. Then we come over here and the graph. Last but not least, we have Covalent. Oh, no, that's not it. Wait, there's more. Anchor, that's one. Pretty decent. Then we have API3, whatever the hell that is. Okay, so I am not impressed, okay? I'm still trying to figure out what the hell you're supposed to do with this in the real world, okay? If you guys know anything about me, you know that I am a supporter of what crypto stood for before you guys heard and it suggests some type of daily trade crap. All right, cryptocurrency is supposed to replace the dollar eventually. And if you create just platform tokens for people to trade and swap and all of that stuff, there's, there's no way in hell or heaven or on earth that a cryptocurrency will ever take over the dollar that just does this. As you can see, it has its own little purposes and everything, but that's why I don't like platform cryptocurrencies. I don't care what you can do with it. It can't replace the dollar, then it has no value as far as a currency go. Now, as far as, you know, automation or whatever it's supposed to be doing online, cool, that's awesome. And maybe you can make some money in that, but let's not lose focus of the point of crypto keyword currency in the first place. So I would trash this one, but let's give it one more shot, baby. All right, we're gonna come over here. Now I'm gonna link to all of this. This is called the research papers. Phantom Research Papers. Phantom Research pa Papers. Learn about the process behind the technology. Phantom engages in comprehensive research and development to deliver state-of-the-art solutions. To do so, we are closely working together with our partners as well as Yonsei University, blah, blah, blah. Here's the white paper. Okay, and what else can we use? Economics of smart contracts, scalable framework. You can check out all of this stuff. We're going to just go ahead and check out the white paper real quick. Ah, and I'm gonna link to this stuff too, guys. Check this out, check this out, I love you. All right, all right, so I'm not even gonna try to say that word. This paper consolidates the core technologies and key concepts of our novel Latices consensus protocol and Phantom Opera platform, which is permissionless, uh, leaderless, and EVM compatible. We introduce our new protocol, so-called Latices or latches, latches, or whatever the hell they want to call it, for distributed networks uh, achieving Byzantine fault tolerance. What the hell is this back of prescription doctor's note having as words, man? All right, each node in latches protocol operates a local block DAG, namely whatever the hell that is aiming for a low time to finally TTF for transactions. Our general model considers DAG streams of high speed, but asynchronous events. We integrate proof of stake 
POS into a DAG model of latches protocol to improve performance and security. Our general mind, look, listen, if you want somebody to invent, uh, invest into your stuff, make sure it's understandable. Now, if you're only interested in getting purchasers or investors that are your competitors are literally doing exactly what you're doing, go ahead and talk like this. But a regular person, if you're really trying to achieve mass adoption, guys, you want to know why people don't massively adopt cryptocurrency because of stuff like this. People can't understand it when it sounds like the back of a prescription bottle. You don't know what the hell you're getting. I, nobody knows consensus algorithm. Nobody knows none of that stuff. Now, if you're only talking to developers and stuff, which you're not, you're also talking to people that, you're, that you want to invest, you need to make it freaking relatable and understandable to the regular person because I'm just going to be honest with you, man. I need to put this in Google Translate and, and, and translate it to what the hell is this? Okay. All right. So if you're new to the channel, you tell me in the comments, would you trash or hold this cryptocurrency? I'm going to give it about 15, three dumb, three, uh, two thumbs down. All right. 